Hey y'all, howdy. Welcome to One for the Books. I'm Sandra Broadwell, and this is going to be the end of the year book tag. Despite what the title would have you believe, the end of the year book tag is actually about the transition to the last quarter of the year. So it's just a simple set of questions to answer about your reading plans for the last several months. I love thinking about the books that I'm going to read and trying to plan seasonal reads and things like that. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what some of your answers to these questions are, what books you you're looking forward to reading in the fall and upcoming winter months. So the first question, are there any books that you've started that you need to finish before the end of the year? I normally don't start books and not finish them unless I'm just like didn't enjoy them and I'm not planning to finish them, but I am in the middle of Don Quixote. I'm buddy reading this with two of my friends and we had to put this on hold because of some things that were going on in our lives. So I am currently 367 pages into about a thousand page book. I doubt we will finish this by the end of the year just because of my friend's schedules, but I am in the middle of Don Quixote and do still plan to finish it. I'm not sure it'll be finished before the end of 2023, but we'll see how it goes. But aside from just being in the middle of some books, I'm also in the middle of a couple of series and I would like to make sure that all the series that I've started in 2023 that I've wrapped up or caught up on before the end of the year. So right now the ones that I need to read are The Battle Drum by Sara El Rifi. This is the sequel to The Final Strife which I read back in February this year. I also want to read the sequel to The Jasmine Throne which is called The Oleander Sword by Tasha Suri. I think I read that one in May. And just in August I read The Gollum and the Genie by Helene Wicker and it is a duology in the sequel so that one is called The Hidden Palace. So I'm planning to also finish up that duology. The other two that I mentioned before that are the second book in a trilogy and the third book for both of those has not come out yet. But I do want to go ahead and get caught up on those so I'm ready when the new release comes out. The second question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition you into the end of the year? And yes, <laughs> I am planning to read Mexican Gothic by Silvia Marino Garcia. This has an alternate cover on the inside, which I think it just super shows why this is going to be a great fall read. But I think gothic, horror, kind of dark, moody vibes are perfect for the fall. So I'm super excited to read this. It has been so hyped to me over the years. Question number three is, is there a new release that you're still waiting for to come out in 2023? Not really. I don't generally keep up with new releases. I did just put out a video about my top 10 2023 releases that I had not read yet. And I am excited to read all of those. Eventually they're on my TBR, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to read those before the end of the year or not. And there aren't any of those that I'm planning to read as soon as they come out or anything like that. The fourth question is, what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? If you have followed along with any of my wrap-ups throughout the year or my goals video at the beginning of the year, I had a bunch of authors that I rated highly last year when I read one of their books for the first time. So I wanted to read another book by all of those authors. And I also wanted to make sure that I read all of the books that I bought last year that I didn't have a chance to read last year. So from those goals, I still have four books that I need to read. So I'm going to add one more to this question. Clay's Quilt by Silas House. I got this one for Christmas. I have now read two other Silas House books and really enjoyed them. So I'm excited to read Clay's Quilt. I'm also going to read Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I am going to read this one probably in November for Native American Heritage Month. So both of these were books that I acquired in 2022 that I haven't read yet gonna read these in 2023. I have two other books on my to meet my goals and these two are both authors that I read last year that I rated highly and I want to give them another chance this year. So those books are going to be Salem's Lot by Stephen King and Gathering Moss by Robin Wall Kimmerer and she is the author of Braiding Sweetgrass. The second to last question, question number five is, is there a book you think could still surprise you and be one of your favorite books of the year? Absolutely yes. <laughs> I have so many good books that I want to read before the end of the year that I think could be absolute favorites. A few come to mind. I'm getting ready to read City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty and I think 
I've just heard such good things about that book. I honestly don't even know what it's about, but it's the it's the start of the Deva Bod trilogy and it sounds really cool. I'm also going to read Babel by R.F. Kuang, which was a ton of people's favorite book of last year. And I have loved everything by R.F. Kuang I've read so far. I've read the Poppy War trilogy and Yellow Face. So I'm super excited to finally get to Babel. I'm also going to hopefully start the Red Rising trilogy by Pierce Brown. I've never read those books before and they're getting a ton of love this year because a new book just came out in that series. Definitely think I'm going to love Red Rising. And I also have The Mountain in the Sea by Ray Naylor. I haven't really heard anyone on booktube talking about this, but the premise sounds super cool. It's about basically scientists discover that there is a super intelligent city of octopi living below the ocean. So yeah, very, very sci-fi. And the cover is just super beautiful. So I think this is going to be really, really good. Okay. And the very last question is, have you already started making reading plans for next year? And absolutely. Yes. I have so many reading plans for next year. I doubt I will be able to live up to all of them, but next year is the Chinese year of the dragon. And I think it would just be really cool to read a bunch of dragon books. I have a huge list of books about dragons that I want to try and tackle next year. I also know the final book of the first five books of the Stormlight Archive is coming out next year, and I've never read the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson, so I'd love to get to that. I've never read The Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb, The Dandelion Dynasty by Ken Liu, The Murderbot series by Martha Wells, The Sun Eater series by Christopher Rocchio. So I really just, uh, I have so many series that I haven't gotten to yet that sounds so, so good. So yeah, 2024 is going to be a stacked year with some really great reads and I can't wait to get to them all. That's the end of this tag. Be sure to let me know, uh, like I said earlier in the comments below, what some of your most anticipated reads are for the rest of the year. Thanks so much for tuning in today and be kind, read books, and hit the subscribe button below for more bookish content to come. I'll see you next time.